All right, Sean, back to you in a moment. We're going to continue covering the road conditions over the next hour of Eyewitness News at Noon. Again, live pictures of a neighborhood here on 56th Street. This particular neighborhood, you can see, still snow covered. There are crews out there. They've got the plows out, putting some salt down. But at least in this part of the uh, north side of Indianapolis, you've, you've got to be very slow going. Give yourself a lot of distance between yourself and the car in front of you. And as you approach intersections like we are here, make sure that you are giving yourself plenty of time to make the turn because roads out across Indianapolis are slick right now. Uh, crews are getting out there, but uh, it will take some time. Well, traffic is now backed up in H Huntington County at this hour after this chain reaction crash involving five vehicles this morning. Look at this scene here. This happened this morning on I-69 north of Huntington. Troopers tell us a van went through the median, struck a tractor trailer going the other direction. Oh, it was snowing just like it is. The road was, was snow covered. Uh, troopers had been reporting all morning that the roadways were slick. And we've had a number of slide off and slide offs and crashes between here and Fort Wayne, which is about 20, 25 miles to the north. So it's been a very busy morning before this even happened. Now we're told only one person suffered minor injuries this morning. Troopers tell us some motorists this morning were simply driving too fast. Now, if you had plans to drive on I-69 southbound in Huntington County today, please find another route because, as you see, this is a mess right now. Traffic is being routed off at the 286-mile marker. Well, for days, our weather team had predicted the snow would fall during the morning commute, and as we discussed, it didn't take a lot of snow to really impact travel across central Indiana. Eyewitness News reporter Chris Kirstner joins us live from I-65 at Southport Road. She's got a look at the conditions on the south side. Hey, Chris. How you doing, Scott? Yeah, a lot better than it was just a few hours ago. You can take a look. Traffic not having any problems here during this noontime. Uh, the roads are clear. They are still wet, but not snow covered like they were this morning. In fact, take a look like this morning before the start of the morning commute. As predicted, the snow started falling steadily overnight. I-65 southbound into Johnson County was quickly covered. A blowing snow that didn't slow truckers, but made it difficult for drivers to see behind them. INDOT crews worked to stay ahead of it on interstates and state roads like 46 in Columbus. One of the area's snowfall was expected to be at its peak. Drivers to the south managed the slick spots with care. By the time the sun was out, the snow had stopped, giving city roads a chance to clear and private plow drivers a chance to clear the way for business. It's, it's kind of a little tough, you know, it's not real light, but you know, it's moving right along. It's not real slick underneath, it's no ice really, which is good. It's hard to keep up and it's hard to see because it starts coming down and your wipers are working, you know, it's just hard to keep up with it. Even most of the main parking lots have been cleared, but we are over here, uh, you know, by that Southport Target area, and you see a couple of inches of snow fell here. There are going to be still some spots where you're walking when you park and walk into a store or walk into work that are going to be snow covered, so you do want to be careful there. But as far as interstate travel, at least on the south side, Scott, things are looking pretty good right now. Yeah, that's a good update. Chris Kirshner from Johnson County, thanks so much. Now, most of the travel advisories across Indiana are in the southern part of our state. You see these counties in yellow? They could have routine travel restrictions today. Du Bois and Floyd counties, a little bit, bit more serious. They're the ones there in orange. Officials in these counties recommend only essential travel, things like to and from work or emergencies because of the current weather conditions.